Ask Reddit by VJTS87. What's the weirdest flex you have? I have dextrocardia. As in, my heart is on the right hand side of my chest. My heart defects all fall under an even rarer condition called CHARGE syndrome. CHARGE is an acronym for different health complications. CHARGE is so rare that I was like the third known case of its kind on the whole island when I was born. I'm a popular you'll never see this again in your career examination subject with students doctors and that. My grandma also has dextrocardia, but we didn't find out until she had to have heart surgery in her early 80s. She'd gone her whole life not knowing, and suddenly during pre-op testing they were like UHH, your heart's not where it should be, I'd never heard of it before, it was so weird. Edit, should clarify this was emergency surgery after she'd had a heart attack, so she'd had no heart checks done prior to that. She'd never had any noticeable symptoms, and was a WWII baby, so she grew up without the medical technology that we have today. I work the overnight shift and still get 8 hours of uninterrupted quality sleep every day. Now this is a flex. I've been booed by 10,000 people at once. I know athletes and celebrities have been booed by more people, but I'm neither. I was randomly picked out of the crowd at an NBA game to attempt a 3 point shot, to win everyone a free pizza. I bricked it. That's awesome. I got picked up in a white van as a child by a stranger to get a lift to somewhere 5 minutes away. I was in the back of the van for half an hour, then they opened the door at the place I was trying to go. To this day I'm not sure but I think a pedophile changed his mind. This also happened to me. When I got out of the car running up to my babysitter's house she ran out going, who is that? Why are you with a stranger and I was just like ohh yeah oops. I can get rid of hiccups on demand. Like without fail if I have hiccups I can just think about it and they go. The next evolution of humankind. I can always pick the exact right size container to put leftovers in. Mom? I have a blue mole. Everyone thinks it's blue highlighter that I somehow got on my forehead. I've got a blue mole on my back. Freaked me out the first time I saw it, but as it's been very sensitive painful place all my life, I think it's always been there. It's just unusual to look at your back, so I didn't see it. A demonologist said it's no different from all my other moles, just deeper. Like how the red blood flowing in our veins of our wrists looks blue, as the red is filtered out by our skin. Sorta of relevant, I cut my leg quite bad while scuba diving once, but as I was over 10m deep, about 19m down, it looked like I was spewing toxic waste, it appeared so green. Rob Zombie accidentally punched me. Kyle Gassett Tenacious D accidentally punched me in the teeth with a microphone, lol. He was performing with his personal band, covering a Boston song, and was jumping around the audience. When the chorus came on, he shoved the microphone in my face, but I leaned forward at the same time to sing it and he smacked me in the teeth accidentally. He was so startled that he pulled the mic back and said sorry into it. My teeth are fine, it was just hilarious. I am a former world martial arts champion from over 20 years ago. Frank Ducks, that you? I have donated over 15 gallons of blood. All at once. My husband says my Japanese home cooking is better than his grandma's. The key is I don't put sugar in it. That's the best I got, I guess. That's actually huge. Better than his grandma's. Wow. I figured out how to make the broken washing machine work. I can tell myself what time I need to wake up and I will awaken within one minute of that time without an alarm. Same. The only downside is when the sleep isn't good, you wake up thinking my alarm hasn't gone off I probably have an hour more at least only to find your alarm is 2 seconds from going off. 
I know how to program in Fortran. I'll admit, it works on an increasingly smaller segment of the population, but it's all I have. Buddy, that's job security for the next 20 years. I have won a little company award at the theme park I work at. For my barista skills. Three times. Please don't quit, please don't quit, please don't quit. I have four nipples. Here we go. I'm the last person in the country to earn the Boy Scout Beekeeping Merit Badge before it was discontinued. A tree fell on me in 2021 and broke all my ribs, my spine, and popped both my lungs. I dragged myself out and survived long enough slowly drowning in my own blood, and internally bleeding out, to be found and get airlifted to a trauma ward. So I got almost as much metal grafted to my bones as Wolverine though I don't flex much because I got so much metal making me rather stiff and rigid. We can rebuild you. Heavier. Colder. Not only do I have a rare form of leukemia, but I'm currently kicking its ass in a form of remission. Thank you for the award kind stranger. Drunk with my fill at my 40th and we both ended up taking a piss in the garden. He told me that I had a very good stream, and I've worn that badge with pride ever since. Reminds me of a funny story. I was diving with a friend and his dad, and went to the restroom. I went to the urinal, his dad to a stall. Start peeing and hear him say oh, I hear you over there like you still have a prostate. I can read hieroglyphics, ancient Greek and Latin. Wow. How did you learn hieroglyphics? Any resources publicly available you could point me to? I survived 9 heart attacks before I turn 40. Have four stints following three angiograms and one open heart surgery with vein transfer, that failed, been in heart failure status for a year. But honestly I am healthier than I was a year ago. A year ago couldn't walk half a mile. Now can walk three miles without issue. Even survived COVID this year after two years of isolating. God damn, I hope you are in better health nowadays, stranger. I took part in the German Championship in Model Parachuting. So is this like small scale parachuting or pretty people parachuting? Both seem weird to me. I hitchhiked from the Netherlands to Greece in 5 days. I had to take an IQ test when I was being evaluated for ADHD and apparently I am in the 99th percentile in spatial reasoning. I can't do math or talk good but I can pack the hell out of a suitcase. The commenter above with the leftovers must also share your gift. I'm American but can I ball a space or item length using the metric system with scary accuracy? My co-workers wondered if I was a robot at times. Edit, though in Colorado, I worked for a Danish company manufacturing wind turbines. I eventually worked on the road that climbed them. So the estimates were generally fiberglass component length. Swoo, so, are you a robot? A bullet missed my head by an inch of hair. I can lay in bed and hit the trash can across the room 99.9% .9 of the time. Back in 2013 I went to go see Phantom of the Opera on Broadway. My family knew a guy in the cast and he was able to let us go backstage for a tour. He took us to go on the stage and the chandelier was on the stage. I saw my opportunity, I licked it. Don't know if there is anyone else who can say they licked the chandelier. I had a fan website in honor of my voice. Years ago I was well known for calling LBC, UK based talk radio station. I was a daily caller to one show basically, because it was a very blokey show, the male listener seemed to love my voice. I was approached by someone who wanted to set up a fan site in my honor. I was a bit confused by it but said to him to go ahead. He gave me the login for the emails so I could reply to the people getting in touch. I received 500 emails a day from listeners to the show. Some were total pervs, 
Some were people in the radio industry offering to train me to become a broadcaster but very few were haters. I ended up with a sponsorship from a toy company who sent my kids 100 pounds s of toys just for being allowed to advertise on the site and giving them a mention. It was a bit nuts to be honest. I remember one or the few haters sending me a ton of abuse from his work address, school by error, so I called him for a chat. Never seen someone backtrack so fast. Edit, thank you all so much for the extremely sweet responses, you guys have made my Christmas. What lovely, lovely people you all are. Well now we have to hear your voice.